Let me tell you something about a steel mill. And I can say this about a glass factory, I can say this about a paper mill, I can say this about almost every major industrial sector of our, of our industries. The fact of the matter is that raw material goes in at one end, it comes out at the other end with next to zero defects, and steel is the most recycled commodity in America, followed by paper, followed by aluminum. So if you want to talk about green jobs, steel is a green job. The fact of the matter is, while we're losing our industrial heartland to places like China, and I'm not blaming the Chinese, by the way, they're doing what we ought to be doing. They're not stealing our jobs, we're giving them our jobs. They're not stealing our technology, we're giving them our technology. But for every ton of steel that's made in China versus every ton of steel that's made in America, we produce three times the amount of carbon emissions. And I could take you through every sector of our economy, whether it's glass, whether it's aluminum, whether it's paper, it's the same story. So we're giving that away. So first we have to blow up the myth about the Rust Belt, and we have to start saying it's the industrial heartland. And then what I think we need to do in addition is to get real, to simply think, how do you create real wealth versus how do you create bubble wealth? If you go back to the, I'll, I'll pick at the, uh, the first sort of scandal of financial deregulation, the savings and loans debacle, where Daddy Bush's kids, by the way, did very well. Uh, and we look at the number of bubbles we've had since then that have destroyed illusionary uh, wealth, as, uh, as my, my one friend, uh, says, fantasy finance. Uh, Les Leopold wrote a great book called The Looting of America, and he calls it fan fantasy finance. He goes through all the bubbles we've had. Well, if you look at that, and you look at what we've been doing with regards to the <coughs> real wealth, you've got to ask yourself a question. How do you create real wealth? You create real wealth by taking raw material, converting it to something else, and adding value to it, and then putting it into the marketplace whether it's the marketplace of real ideas or whether it's the marketplace of durable goods. Well, right now, America is suffering a daily loss, daily loss, Bob said, of $2 billion a day. Now, the question is, for an economy that's spending now pretty much a given 16% of its GDP, for a healthcare system that's broken, that's probably spending closer to 20% of its GDP in the military side, and that is borrowing $2 billion a day because they can't make anything. The question is, how do you get out of that mess? You certainly don't get out of that mess by having uh, economic teabaggers and healthcare teabaggers disrupting meaningful change that will give us an opportunity to move into a more competitive environment on manufacturing. And you certainly don't get out of that economic mess by resuscitating Wall Street as opposed to reforming it. And you certainly don't get out of that economic mess unless you're going to sit down and develop an industrial plan for success. <coughs> 